Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a nighttime baby routine. This is how I spend most of my nights with my son if I'm giving him like the full on routine. So that's including bath and everything. Yeah, this is basically what I do with my new three month old to get him ready for bed because Mr. acts like sometimes he doesn't have a bedtime, but he does. I actually have him on a really good schedule so far so in the morning he comes with me to work and then right after that he'll take a nap or two before I actually get him ready for his bedtime nap. Yeah usually at night he's a great sleeper he'll sleep for like five or six hours at a time and just wake up for his feeding and then go right back to bed until I'm ready for the next day. Okay, so the baby takes eight ounces of formula, so I'm just going to be heating that up now. Hey, I'm moving. Okay guys, so for the purpose of the video, I'm going to be getting in the shower with a sports outfit on instead of naked because that's not what I'm here for. Mind you, I've been showering with this child since I brought him home, so I am the pro slippery baby holder when it comes to taking showers, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Alright guys, so now that we are cleaned and out of the shower, well he is clean, um, I actually have to get back in, <laughs> but I'm using Johnson's Bedtime Lotion and Shea Moisture Baby Balm on his face, well the lotion on his body and then the balm on his face, just because I like to create a barrier between his skin on the face and his nails because he likes to scratch his face. If you could see the side of his nose, it has a gash in it because he accidentally scratched himself. So I just like to keep his skin moisturized. And also he gets baby acne every now and then and that actually has been helping with it a lot. So now I'm just rubbing lotion all over his body so he can be nice and hydrated. And he is not enjoying it one bit. <laughs> like I said, he was super tired. So, um, all he was really focused on was sleeping and also the bottle that was coming up so I try to get this done as quick as possible and I console him actually a couple times just because I feel bad and I'd rather stop for a second to allow him to stop crying and calm down and then continue on of me getting him dressed 
but I'm just putting him in a long sleeve onesie and I also end up putting him in long pants as well because our room is sort of cold. Now that the winter months are coming up, they're taking a while to turn the heat on in our apartment so I kind of have to keep him bundled up at night. But yeah, as you can see, he's really not having it. So I pick him up and it's so much easier to put on his pants this way. So I just scoot him up and now I'm putting on the bomb to his face and I'm getting that done quickly. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, It's okay. He'll thank me later when he has nice skin. Well, wow. today was a great day to film. <laughs> where the up, where um, tighten it? Come on. Come on. So the baby is currently feeding. He is extremely exhausted as you can see. He's falling asleep while he's eating the bottle. So what I'm gonna basically be doing is just putting him in his crib and letting him go to sleep on his own. I'm not going to be stimulating his mind anymore. So I'm not going to play with him or really keep him up any longer because he did have a long day. He kind of has a long day every day. Like I said, he comes to work with me. So he doesn't take um, that well of a nap during the day. So, um, Little guy gets all his Z's in at nighttime. <laughs> right? So yep, after this, I'm just going to be setting up his crib for him to go to sleep in. I'll probably turn on like the white noise machine or um, use his mobile I have in there. So um, just to, you know, keep him calm, get him settled. And yeah, I'm trying to put him to sleep. So this should be fun. But to be honest, it doesn't take him long to fall asleep. Like it's fairly easy. The only hard part was what just happened. Usually sometimes he'll be fussy in the shower if he's waiting for a bottle. So that's why I don't really like to cut the time between the bottle before his last bottle for the night. Not literally for the night, but you get what I mean before he goes to sleep and um, the bottle when it's time to go to bed. I like to cut them shorter, that time shorter because he won't be hungry and getting wet <laughs> i actually just got finished a class before i started filming so he was just sitting in the swing the whole time and um watching me present um he's definitely overtired for a fact <laughs> oh whoa whoa wow that was a big boy burp okay guys so he just finished his eight ounce bottle and he is already dozing off as you can see a little bit um what i like to do about now since he is pretty calm i will usually go and use my frida baby i don't know what you want to call this but it's like a picker outer it picks out boogies anything dirt under the nails um i like to go around and see if he has any boogies because i did get him sick a couple weeks ago so He's congested a little bit still. Um, I'll pick out any boogies I see, and then if I see any dirt under his fingernails, I will also do that. And then also, um, can you hand me a cotton swab, actually? Yeah. I just get around his ears. I don't go inside of his ear, of course, but um, I get like around this area because it gets a little bit of buildup. So I gotta make sure my baby's clean. It doesn't look like he has any boogies, and his fingernails are pretty good. <laughs> I did a good job washing him up. He just ate the whole thing? He ate a whole um, eight ounce bottle. No, don't put him on the side. Why? He's not going to go to sleep on his back. <laughs> Okay, so to be honest, he can be pretty content by himself. I don't have to really sit here and pat his back. Um, so 
all, I'm just gonna leave him for a couple minutes to calm down himself and get into sleep mode. And then I'm gonna come back and check on him in a couple of minutes. I actually have a monitor, if you guys are wondering, right here set up in front of the crib so I can see him, even if I'm in the other room. But of course, I'm just gonna stay in this room for right now until he actually goes to sleep. But um, he's probably gonna go to sleep any second now, like I said falls asleep super quick because um, he has a busy day. The man works the nine to five. So I'm going to shut this light off. And now we wait for him to fall asleep. And of course, if he needs help, his mom is right here to pat his back. Or usually if he doesn't fall asleep on his own in the crib, this camera, like, come on, man. The autofocus on this thing sucks. Like, can you not get my face? Okay. So, um, usually, if he needs help falling asleep, then I will actually lay down with him and put him on my side. But today, since um, I have stuff to do, like I have homework to get done and stuff like that, I'm just going to put him in his crib and try to see if he'll go to sleep on his own. So, it'll make my life a lot easier. Okay, guys. So, not even two minutes later, he actually is already asleep. Let's go check on him before I get to doing my business. So, baby is asleep. I actually still need to shower because um, I wanted to hurry up because I felt kind of bad that I made him wait for a feeding. But um, now I'm gonna go handle my business. But I hope you guys all enjoyed my baby nighttime routine with my three month old baby. He literally just turned three months. So um, this is pretty much what we do. Majority of the nights, this is how I get him ready for bed and guarantee a great Whoa. night's sleep for me because now it is what? <clears throat> it's eight o'clock so he probably won't wake up again until like one or two for a feeding then he'll get fed he'll go right back to sleep if he doesn't want to play around because he's been playing around lately like I'll wake him up to feed him and then he'll start laughing and want to play and it's like hey like this is not playtime but um he'll wake up around yeah one or two and then we'll feed him again and then he won't wake up till around maybe five four four or five yep that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video if you guys want to see more videos like this or even leave more like video ideas down below please do because um i want to post what you guys want to see and i have a lot of fun video ideas in mind so stay tuned for those so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video